Okay, what is this? There's a new update for Galactic Civilizations 4. So let's jump in this son of a bitch. Of course, um, keep my volume down. I don't feel like wearing headphones today. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, okay, I'm back. I'm not going to customize. Just um, jump right in. And I'm going to use the default because I'm definitely... It's still an incomplete game. I think it's version 7.7. .7, but it's still an incomplete game. So I'm not likely to play through the entire thing. Oh, take off weak limit. I hate weak limit. Opponents. I'm going to leave them all on normal AI. And just let it do random for all of these. You purdy. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> okay. Um, looks like the text is the same for that. And they still have this sort of sector of the galaxy thing. Although it seems like I'm in a pretty good se pretty big sector anyway. So there's probably another civilization here. So let's... Century, auto, colonize, citizen... Oh, I'm, I'm on the colony ship. Huh. This here is the probe, and this here is the survey ship, so I need to find something to colonize. Uh, it's probably still the same situation where we have lots of junk planets that you don't actually set up a proper colony. Artemis, huh? You don't set up a proper colony. You just sort of uh, set up a client colony. And then you go and you link them to one of your core worlds. So, earlier I was in, like, earlier times trying to play this game, I was avoiding low-quality planets because I didn't feel like they were that useful. But, uh, they're a little more useful than I thought. Yeah, it's nice, um, but the battery life is very short, very As long as I keep the Bluetooth off and stuff like that, it'll last a good couple of days. But other than that, it's something I have to keep an eye on, period. What kind of tractor are you using now? Oh, shit. Forgot to turn the camera off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so they still have this research candidate system. Um, the earlier version or the earlier games in this series had a tech tree where you could um, where you could choose whatever available technology was that you had researched up to. In this, they give you a series of research candidates that you can choose from. Now, this wasn't working for me in the earlier versions, the early alpha, alpha versions of this game, because the things that I really needed were simply not appearing. And it was driving me nuts that I couldn't build bigger ships, and I couldn't do lots of crap like that. That's tax rate medium. Uh, what have I got? Brainstorming. Oh, it's this uh, perk thing. Um... Yeah, let's just do that for now. Idle colony, so this is Earth. And it's got a spaceship or a shipyard. There, I should build this crap. Um, where is my... Okay, there's my capital city. So, I'll want to drop different things in here based on what... Uh, 
original scouts that fun in this world. It's Earth. <laughs> what is that? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Terraform the tile in a selected world. Research. So, I'm gonna build a manufacturing district so I can build up manufacturing and, of course, build a colony ship. Because I need to colonize. The talented members of the population are ready to supervise government ministers. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Now this... Rachel Ern Omer... Oh, I'm... Uh, never mind. <laughs> so, I recruit leaders. This is same I've seen before. You recruit leaders, and then you can use them for various purposes. Setting up ministers, which increase exploration, technology, colonization, whatever. Governors to set up individual planets as core worlds. Diplomats, which I don't have any alien, uh, alien civilizations to contact yet. Uh, commanders, put in your fleets and factions. I don't really know what to do with this yet. I know factions were a thing that existed in the earlier versions of the beta, but I don't recognize this screen. So I guess there are different factions of your own civilization, like political parties that exist and you have to appease them and you can get benefits I guess if you are appeasing them so I don't have any of them yet so I'm not gonna bother with that no ba -ba -ba. power the head of the civilization executive orders no what was it that that oh, okay here we go uh, part of a terraformer experience points. All right, so that's useless. <laughs> subspace scanning, okay. But the practice is considered harder in subspace, where basic notions of distance and rotation aren't of much use. A new form of math is required. So this just unlocked technologies, unlocked things, and unlocked further technologies to research so yeah okay space elevators an increase to our manufacturing what is this event now oh. our ship has come across a device that has been recording events on our home world for over 300 years we have no idea who this device belongs to or where it came from, but we do have been able to <laughs> but we have been able to interface with it and get some of its recordings. Suffice to say, if the public were to see these recordings, it would result in endless scandals. On the other hand, this is a terrific opportunity to share the real story of our history. <laughs> okay, so increases tech and uh, security ideology awareness or um, transparency increase and a 5% increase to our total income for all colonies for 50 turns. I'm going to go with, uh, research plus 25. That'll complete space elevators and it'll give me a few points to spend on my next. I'm just going to do their weird little technology here. See, so it jumped down to five from nine weeks, so I had plenty of points left over. It's a little bit of a quiet civilization at the moment because um, I don't have any ships out and about other than my survey ship and my little explorer. Ah, it's a nice planet. Can't settle it yet, though. I don't have the technology. That's a nice planet. Maybe I should settle that as a core world later, but I don't have the technology yet for that either. Not that I have a colony ship to send out there. So I'm just burning through my turns until something comes up. There's ship upgrades available, probably for my survey ship. So let's take a look at that. Well, let's let it finish doing this survey job. Uh, well, let's finish with its uh, tech. Uh, I'm going to do research districts. Oh, 
this is finished. Okay, so you can either just build things directly off this menu here, or you could build crap from here. So capital mainframe increases research adjacencies, manufacturing and military. So let's take a look at what I have here. Research and wealth increases to all tourism. I'm going to go and take this capital mainframe and I'm going to drop it right here so I can turn this into kind of a research area. Uh, where's my survey ship? Uh, it's already found the next. Let's just take a look at its upgrades. All right, so a lot of these are not going to be particularly useful for me right now. The thing is not... Uh, not getting in any fights, and it probably won't anytime soon. So, reinforced hurl. Oh, I have crew quarters, command bridge, and sensor range. Actually, command bridge and sensor range are pretty good, and it's not going to cost me any money. So, might as well. Moves. It'll get to its research points a little bit faster. I need to throw citizens on board. The colony ship. Oh, okay. My first, the Torian regime. My first alien civilization. Now, I don't have the universal translator because that technology simply hasn't appeared yet. So I can't respond to them. <laughs> I'm one turn away from being able to... To, um... A blight has affected Earth. Your administrators warn there won't be enough food for all of your citizens. The wealthy have already begun stockpiling food, and the desperate have begun raiding those stockpiles. What are your orders? Share with the less fortunate. We will suffer together. Distribute the goods to our leaders. We will need their strength to survive. Stage a war among our people. Let them turn on each other. <laughs> Alright, what are the results of these? Ideology awareness increases, growth minus 50%, minus 50% all uh, income. Oh, God, that's terrible. Authority increases by 2, 50% growth, negative 10% approval. Uh, deception checks 60% chance of success. 60% chance. Uh, let's try that. <laughs> It'll be a turn or two before I can see. What the effects are of that. Nice planet. It's another nice planet. Can I... Extreme colonization. So... Mars is a 2. Class 2. What is this? Uranus. Colonize Mars. It's a crap planet, but... Success! Ba-boom! Just as you hoped. The citizens of Furin 2 have turned on each other. None of them blame you for the famine. fan frickin -tastic. I like blaming people for shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, there's another event. We have yet to be able to communicate with them, but our scientists claim they can develop universal translator technology if they're given the time and resources. Yeah, 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 we'll do our stuff. Let me frickin' research it, for the love of God. <laughs> Mars and Impus, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, you can get different options depending on where you want to set up your colony. Where a Sojourner once landed. That's the uh, Pathfinder rover. I don't know these locations. I'm not familiar with the topography of Mars. So either leader, minerals, technology. I go technology because I love me some technology. Universal Translator, finally. Jesus. Our ships have come across the device that have been recording... Did not not already do this? <laughs> well, I mean, I can get the translator technology done immediately. 
great. <laughs> the flavor text on these things is repeating a lot. I know the patch notes said that there would be a lot more added, but I'm seeing repeats. Still in beta though, so give them time to add some more shit. Agricultural districts, foreign affairs, artificial gravity. I really should increase things of manufacturing and all of that, but I don't have. Okay, so where, oh, where is my oh, galactic challenges? Oh, okay, so we have... Uh, when did these appear? Trying to find the... Data bank. See, they're way better than me. I don't really know how to play this game yet. <laughs> Diplomacy. There we go. Speak to. What do you got? I have a trade proposal. You have more technology than me. Way more technology than me. Alright, so let's say I... I wanted this. Asteroid mining. I don't want that. Planetology. I'm already researching that. Come on, man. Give me some... Oh, wow, okay. I can get almost everything you have. Real easy. I got all your technology now. <laughs> got all that shit. That was a problem I had always had with um, Galactic Civilizations 2 and 3. It was that, in a majority of cases, the alien civilizations would overvalue their own technologies. They would also overvalue their colonies and overvalue their ships and stuff like that. They'd overvalue everything they had. And you would have to give them a very, very good deal in order to, for them to accept it. Now, in 3, there were... I remember there was one incident where I'm just plastering these fuckers with um, with all sorts of uh, with warfare. I'm rolling in. I'm taking their planets. They have no they have no military. They have nothing. They're about to get their ass kicked. Is this an asteroid miner? Okay. And then I offer them terms for peace, and my terms for peace were really more terms for me gaining their entire civilization and all but one of their planets they surrendered to me <laughs> so i left them with one planet just sort of deep inside of my own civilization because i took over all their other planets it was something like 10 or 15 planets i took from them it was the one time i noticed that they actually like were willing to give over planets or star bases or anything like that. Um, okay, let's see what you have. You have no technology. You suck. You do have some antimatter, though. You've got nothing for me. Alright, my research thing, manufacturing plus... You know what? This is all good for manufacturing. I shouldn't have... I should have put my research thing up here. But, you know, what's done is done. I did say I don't know how to play this game yet. <laughs> Just burn through a few turns real quick. Starbase technology. Xeno research. Yeah. Yeah, the thrive, reclaim the space, put you up, 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 not now. I have a constructor. Oh, this is for star bases. Okay, so star bases are for uh, resources like this Prothean, Pro 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 Promethean. So I gotta roll my 
constructor ship out there. And then I need to build... What is this? Life... I don't know if I can actually research that just yet. But let's get a constructor out there. Done. Just keep building colony ships. The black hole up here. What does that do? I wonder. If I fly a ship into it, will be destroyed? I don't want to try just yet because I don't have. <laughs> I don't have. Um, any ships to spare. Okay, I need a Xeno Archaeology. There we go. They want open borders. Oh, they want they want planetology. And they'll give me open borders and antimatter. Now, open borders is something that tends to work out pretty well in your favor if you're trying to avoid a war. It uh, when you have enemy ships in your civilization or or borders or your ships cross over into an enemy civilization, there can be a sort of diplomacy penalty applied to that. And like wars have begun simply because colony ships or trade ships or whatever have wandered into an enemy sphere of influence. Open borders actually like um, helps with that. I would like open borders with them. Maybe I don't want to give them planetology. Although it does seem to be what they want. <sighs> you asshole. <laughs> let's just do... Let's just do open borders. You fucker. Done. We're done here. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Tales from the corner of our empire dazzle and... and wow. Well, somehow that's a word I don't know. <laughs> let's see what they got. Ideology awareness increases to three. Authority! Ideology awareness increases to three. Let's do liberty. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure what the big deal is between the differences. What the differences are going to be. Now, all of these are client planets. Earth is the only core world I have so far. So they're all just sort of resourcing over their crap. Thirteen percent decay. Theming their resources to Earth. Look at all this shit I can build now. One per galaxy. 17 turns. Build that. I will be the envy of the universe, motherfuckers. It just... Mm -hmm. It's the same photo that they had, but it's different text. It's the brief field marks the former mine. You know, I've seen this one before. Okay, so... Starts a kinetic uh, mission, upgrade kinetic mission, or... Increase a kinetic attack by two. Now, I guess this is only going to increase the kinetic attack of my survey ship. So I'm going to start the kinetic mission... Because, you know, um, gather three alien components. Oh, shit. I need to scan planets. I forget how to do that. So rated munitions technology has to be researched. Okay. Well, I'm one turn away from Xeno research. So. 
next turn, I might do that. Ah, all right. So here is the sphere of effect, or the circle of effect of this ship. So if I move it here, I have all three of these. Ah, oh, damn it. Serrated munitions hasn't even appeared here. So let's, let's do the diplomatic one. Nope. Oh, there's the, um, whatever these guys were called. Um, I'm blanking on their names. They're close, though. So unless I can keep peace with them, there's gonna be a war. Promethean Mine. So it's going to start gathering Promethean as a resource. So that's located up here. I have three right now. And it's gathering 0.3 per turn. That might get destroyed if I get into a fight before too soon. Before too, uh, you know. Boom. What do I get? Oh, it's a colony ship. Can I... Were any of these oceanic worlds? No, no. Oh, this one is. Get over there and colonize. Colonize, fool. Colonize. I need core worlds, even though this one's a little too close to Earth. Foreign Affairs, researched. Hmm. I really would still rather like an open tech tree. That I have more freedom of choosing. Like, because you're, you're sort of limited by the roll of the dice. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, it appears as though somebody has built the... Um, somebody... The improvement I was trying to build here, somebody else has already built one. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of out all that time I spent building here. Okay, so they want Oceanic World Mastery now. And they... or. I get that, and then they want all this other shit. Let's try something reasonable, you goofy bastard. Open borders. It's not enough for you. Then screw you. Barely have anything. Alright, so this is a planet. It's high enough in terms of um, whatever you call it that I can... I think, anyway, I can... Yeah, here we go. I just need to recruit a minister. This one likes me enough, so... Let's recruit. Then slap you in as a governor. So that is now a core world. And I can build shit on it. Let's get a... Um, manufacturing district built there. And these two switched because they're closer. Okay, a new civilization. Corporate sector. Look at that name there. It's a hell of a thing. Okay, I can't do a open borders. Oh, open borders. They'll accept an open borders. Let's see if they'll... Uh... Alright, so there's a deal. They get open borders and oceanic worlds. I get Xeno manufacturing and some money. I'll accept that. Hyperwave radio is done. Let's... Let's start researching weapons. Because the dredgen are a little close. I don't like how close they are.
Hmm. Uh, let's do this for now. I don't know if... Okay, so I do have a positive weekly income. That's something I always have to worry about. I oftentimes spend more money than I make. So I have a budget deficit. And if you lose track of that, then you can get fucked. You'll run your civilization out of... My god, look at this deal. This is terrible. They want Promethean. They want three technologies, and they're going to give me 70 credits for it. No, you're not getting any of this shit. Now, let's give me extreme colonization. I gotta give you so much, so much for this. How much is it going to cost to close this deal? It's a lot. Let's... Let's see if I can just do an open borders treaty with you. I'm just trying to get an idea of what they value all these technologies at. What does planetary mobilization do? Uh, let's just do this. Uh, they'll actually give me some money for this. Doing open borders and they gave me a little bit of money. Resolute. You're resolute. Now, where can I go? I don't have extreme colonization yet, so that's not an option. Although I do need to populate some planets. They're so poor. These planets are such garbage. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see... Let's get another asteroid miner. Asteroid miners really do help with your planetary production. At least that was the impression that I had. This one needs to get shit built a little bit faster. <laughs> see, I've seen this one again. Yes, research, which gives me railguns done, and quantum computing is nine. I'm sure it'll jump down a little ways. I probably had research points seven. Yeah, so there we go. Artemis, yes, a client world of Earth. Wealth, minus one farming. Cooperation increased by one. Harmony. Alright, this is the only one that doesn't have a downside, so I'm just going to choose it. Ship upgrades available. Just skip over some turns. Thank you. That is useless information. Asteroid miner. This is a big clunk of asteroids. Hopefully it will mine all of these. Because it seems like any time they're contiguous, one constructor will connect the dots and mine all of them. Yeah, thanks. Same information. Uh, okay, so... Manufacturing district has been constructed. Where is my... There's no, um... What is it? Like, colony center. Hmm. 
Manufacturing and military. This is a high gonna be a high population world. I'm gonna build a What is it? Garrison. Hmm. Whatever this is. <laughs> so it's a mission. Persuasion. Let's do this mission. Manti Birthing Pool. This is a... Not useless. That's not useless. All these tiles have some value. Uh, where is that birthing pool? I don't know where to find it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I don't quite remember how to do that. Hey, another... The draft. See what you've got. You've got some technologies. That's nice. I guess this is one that I can't get from them. Let's get extreme colonization. See what you've got. Now, open borders. Everyone loves open borders. Hyperwave radio on oceanic worlds and oceanic worlds and... You know what? Let's accept this deal. I got extreme colonization. Meaning... This planet is now open for colonization. Breaking my Fitbits. Oh, I got quantum commuting. Awesome. Draw more money and tourists, but let's do that. I I want to start building a military. Because I'm going to be in war soon. <laughs> but I don't quite have the shipyards and the production capacity to do it yet. So I need to... I need to build that up. Got to keep remembering to... Shut the camera off whenever I'm sending text messages. Get myself all screwed up here. Um, what do I gotta do? Well, I do I have a colony ship in the works? Yes, I do. Fan, frickin' tastic. Once I can get it. Oh, um. Oh, okay, so things are good. Everyone likes when things are good. Everyone loves it when things are good. Now, I wonder if those... Um, wait, hold on. Okay, so I do have three separate civilizations in this sector. And it's controlled by the Drath, it would seem. So I was, I was thinking, when I started thinking, I didn't complete the thought was that I was wondering if they were in my sector or if I just had, like, uh, exploration ships stumble across me. 
Where am I? Earth? I'm on Earth. What is this? Um, yeah. Let's harvest some stuff. Ministry of Tourism. This would be useful. I'm still not in a position where I can really start to build warships. But I do need to start getting the technology set up. Oh, okay, so here's that Manti birthing pool. Level plus one the population... Wealth, research, food. I guess population means food. Where, where do I... Oh, it's got to be in water there? Uh, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> ah, the your singularity. The evil robots. Talking meat. <laughs> Open trade. What you got? They got some technologies, huh? Survey ships, planetary adaption, artificial gravity. Uh, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? Hey, they want oceanic war, world stuff, whatever. Open borders. Open borders I can't do yet. Give me some money for this deal. Alright, so in a turn, I guess the option for open borders opens up. But, uh... Ooh, supply ship. Since I just had a deal with them... Oh my god, they're right here. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. This may be a problem. Oh, look, I didn't get every asteroid like I was hoping. Didn't get every asteroid. Ah, left our... Oh, it's been a year now. You sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've had more than 12 turns. Oh, okay, so it's... Still measuring time in weeks. I thought the patch notes said that it was going to do it in months instead of weeks. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intergalactic war, blah, blah, blah. The Yor and the Dredgen are two... Like, universally just always hostile civilizations. So, you gotta be careful around them. They are gonna declare war on you at some point. Unless you have, like, a very specific ideology which aligns with them. Which is evil. <laughs> yeah, see, look, he's already talking about conquering me. Energy, trade, computing, blah, energy, starblaze. Big in trade networks. It actually could be useful to me to have trade with these civilizations because mission to sea is good. Survey anomalies. Yeah, okay. Having trade with enemy civilizations benefits both of you, actually. You get some benefit, they get some benefit. It's just money that lands in your bank accounts. And as long as foreign affairs and orbital manufacturing and they want money, you know what? Let's accept this deal. Exploration Treaty and Non-Aggression Pact. So we will not be going to war together for a little while. And I get to see their chunk of the map. Look at that. That's sweet. If you have 
a sort of like economic stake in each other's civilization continuing to exist, you're less likely to go to war with each other, and the more likely you're going to actually sort of protect each other. Uh, <laughs> Jenna Casey's primary duty is to wipe you from the galaxy. Oh, and thanks very much for the hyperdrive. Terran resistance. It's funny that they... Well, I did just click random, didn't I? Uh, it's open borders. Um. I don't know. How is this? What is this? <laughs> um. Oh, they really want oceanic worlds. All right, so that's some nice technologies. Anyway, if I can open up trade with, say, these bastards down south, they will will be more likely to not want to kill me. <laughs> and if I get into war with somebody else, they'll be more likely to actually, like, stand and defend me to an extent because they are, like, uh, economically tied up in my continued existence. Did I have another colony ship? Well, the military... Okay, so... Let's... Let's just throw everything we have in the... Technology. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have a ship? Uh, yeah, a colony ship under construction. What the hell is this? What the this? Ah, it's... The friggin... What are they called? The Yor. Should I build another... Do one more... One more colony ship. <laughs> and then let's just start... Building a few warships. Dude, I'm not giving you a technology like that for 70 fucking credits. <laughs> Alright, so I need... Was this a... planet that I'm conquering? Oh. <laughs> Alright, this one's gotta be getting close to... Alright, so yeah, in... Oh, this is how you scan planets. Alright, so scan the... Oh shit, no! Uh, did it finish? <laughs> Ceno Entertainment. That will help increase my, uh, what do you call it? Um, approval rating. So let's do that. Okay, so I got a trade ship. A freighter. Now let's send it down here in search of an enemy or enemy. They're not enemies yet. In search of another planet. It's got to get down there. I need to scan three planets. To complete the mission, that is.
I don't know if a life relic is going to work for a synthetic peoples like the Yor. Hmm. Let's start building out manufacturing. I do need to build out manufacturing. Oh, they want all sorts of resources. Ministry of Tourism, Defensive Studies. They'll give me open borders, fusion power plants, and planetary adaption. I don't like this deal. But I will take open borders. No, <laughs> no. They won't take open borders at all. It's got to actually be some sort of a trade. Look at all the crap I'm giving. They don't want open borders with me at all. Wow. Not at all. That's crazy. Diplomacy, fusion, kinetic weapons. Okay, we discovered a hidden outpost on a single alien living there. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, ideology, awareness, um, compassion, opportunity, pragmatism plus... Yeah, let's do that. I didn't even read what it was, but it's gonna... Um... Treasury... Yeah, th whatever that is. I didn't even read the, the flavor text. Okay, so this is their their home world. So, go in here. First trade route. Ban. Damn. Tastic. Now I can go and look at... Uh, where is trade? Trade. Trade. <laughs> Diplomacy, I guess? No, oh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't know where... Ideology, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'll check this out in a minute. There's some stuff I can do. Trade, here we go. Okay, so I'm trading with the Your Singularity and Iconia. So Iconia is supposed to, Iconia, I, the Iconians are a different civilization that I guess is not in this, this uh, sandbox game. So, trade revenue three, I'm guessing that's three per turn. And we're both making that money. So as long as we are both making money, that increases our uh, that increases our standing with each other. Now let me get a turn in. Gains a colony ship. Sweet. Alright, so this is my new planet that I set up as a core world. Research, manufacturing, food. Just uh get our manufacturing district. It's going to be a bit before. It's going to be a bit before that planet's any good to me. Oh, there's my colony ship. Though I do need to colonize some shit around here. I doubt I'm going to run into any good core worlds to colonize. Except for this one. That's deep in dredging land. Like, I'm not... 
If I take that, I'm definitely provoking them into a war. But let's get ourselves ready for a fight. Because even though I haven't checked... Oh, wait, that's another colony ship I'd completed. I don't remember telling it to build another colony ship, but alright, since it's done... Since it's done... Let's do it. What was built here? Oh, whatever the hell this is. Oh shit, I was supposed to build a shipyard. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, shipyard, shipyard. Construct a shipyard. Military advisor, the, you know, they activate the relic and with only a... Free integrity disruptor ship. Okay, I don't know. Seized goods? Oh, okay, whatever it was, it worked. <laughs> Equality or opportunity. Oh, you know what? I was going to go and check out ideology. Now you have a certain number of points, culture points to spend, which give you the ability to upgrade your civilization in some fashion. Now let's take a look. Ancient. Efficiency. Liberty. Say so you have Iron Fist. Or self-governance. Let's do that. Because I want uh, approval and the f leader's nice. <laughs> Mobility rights. Two plus star vice range. I'm not that... Approval bonus after discovering technology and deep investigation, which... Which, uh, what does that say? Plus research after surveying an anomaly. I'm a research... I'm Surveying anomaly, anomalies all the damn time, so damn shrite I'm choosing that. And I didn't even read what the others were. <laughs> Whatever, let's move on. They want Promethean and Defensive Studies and an Exploration Treaty. Dude, we already had an Exploration Treaty. It didn't work out for me. <laughs> let's just end this conversation. Your exploration treaty did me no good. No good. Oh, got my research researched. Interstellar trade. I'm not even using the trade that I have now. You know what? I should... Uh, what is this? Beacon of Babylon. What was I about to do? <laughs> Hyperwave, radio, defensive studies, and Promethean beam weapon theory, and diplomacy. Hmm. You know what? Let's accept that. My colony ship, my, this ship, it's got some upgrades to it. Plus one moves. Communications terminal. Antimatter Warhead. Armor rating plus 50%. I'm going to do this one here because moves are good. Because moves are good. <laughs> Did my second uh, shipyard get constructed yet? Five turns remaining. Field generator, missile disruptor, or integrity field. Okay, so you have the three different types of weapons you can have on any type of warship. Lasers, missiles, and railguns. Now, each one has its own corresponding technology for defending against it, and that's what we're looking at here. You get an item which you can upgrade your ship 
to defend either against laser, missile, or kinetic weapons. I'm not sure how it works in this game, but I'm pretty sure in the earlier ones, a, say, shields, which are good against laser weapons, had only about like 50% effect, uh, efficacy when being used to defend against missiles or kinetic weapons. But they still did something. I don't know about this game, though. At least I think that's the way it was. Most people go with lasers. The enemy civilizations always seem to go with lasers by default, so I'm going to choose that. Uh, what is this? Um, gain a colony ship. I'm gonna get that colony ship. Because I don't have to pay anything for it. <laughs> Where is this one going? You go there now. Because you're closer. And you go up here. I see there's some... Promethe... Or... Elementium? El El Elyrium here. That's a useful resource to have. It's good for um, laser weapons, upgrading laser weapons, I think. So I should get a constructor out there. Yes, they just gave me some money for some fucking reason. No colonizable planets here. There is one here, so go back there and get there. Alright, so these may be the last two planets I colonize for a little while. Unless I get some more free ships. So, I should really just focus on maintaining these core worlds. Uh, core world capital. It's a good place to put something like that. See, I'm got a in I do have a balanced budget, but my weekly income is at nothing. So I should probably work on increasing that. I do have another freighter being built, and that should help with that, but it's going to be a bit. I'll send it over to the Dredgen. Maybe that'll smooth over relations with them while I prepare for war against them. <laughs> there are instances... This happened more in Galactic Civilizations 2 than in uh, any of the other ones, but But um, there were games where I played where the entire game plays from beginning to end. I didn't go to war against anybody. The fucking Torians ca colonized a planet right under my fucking nose. You little shitheads. <laughs> where are you going? You suck. I didn't even see these. <laughs> They're so far out of range, though, that these planets are useless to them. What's a Ministry of Culture? Alright, let's take a look at something I was ignoring for a bit. Where is it? Uh... Factions. Ministers. So I have a couple of unassigned leaders. Neither of them like me very much. <laughs> so you want lots of green for the green. You want lots of purple for the purple. Um, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Based on the diligence. So... There we go. You're good with diligence, so you do this, even though you don't like me. And you're good with green or red. So, Minister of Colonization, Minister of Tourism.
So there, you do that. So you're increasing tourism by 9%. You're increasing moves by 1 and ship range by 9. So that's good. Meaning my ships will move faster. The few ships that I have. This wasn't built as a... Hmm. Yeah, colonize it. They're trying to gobble up planets. Being attacked by the Dredgen Empire, the situation is dire. I cannot declare war on anybody just yet. Although I do suspect that war is a coming. You know what? I hate the fact that I'm building another colony ship. But I gotta gobble up those worlds before everyone else does. So... The Dredgen are clobbering these guys down here. There's a lot of civilizations in this sector of the galaxy. I don't even need to leave here for quite a while. Oh, I, do, I finally do have two shipyards. Okay, so I can start building properly. My gunboat's almost complete. And I do have a core world up here. At some point, I should build a shipyard. Manufacturing queue is almost done. This one won't be as good. Planetary adaption, Ministry of Culture, Armor Defense, moves, increased moves of our ship. Um. Hmm. Fortunately, these don't require any type of um, what do you call it? Resources. What is this mission? Survey seven anomalies. That won't take long. I have two or three ships out there. All right, I got a gunboat. I don't know what to do with it yet, so I'm just going to move it in this position out here. I'm going to need more than just one if I have any hopes of winning a fight against anyone. You hate me the least. <laughs> Defensive system. They're rushing up to try to colonize this planet up here. Fortunately, well, this is a class 3. It's a little better. This Torian planet is within my region of control. Within my, uh, whatever you call it, this um, bubble here, which is influence, rather. Since they're behind my bubble of influence, it's possible that at some point there'll be a culture flip of that planet. Meaning they'll just simply switch sides and they'll become one of my planets. It doesn't happen immediately, usually. Once I colonize this one, it'll be surrounded, though, and that'll... That'll help. <laughs> want to make sure I get both of those planets because they're going to try and take it. And I don't want... If they do get it, I want them to um, lose it pretty quick. So I'm going to put this on Century so it just sort of waits. Oh man, the race is on. Look at this shit. Hmm, 
plan am I on? Furion 3. Oh, this one here. What is your... They got some happy. Some happy. Food, food. Food, food, food. Manufacturing, food. Food, food. Supply, manufacturing. And I got that planet. Now someone else will probably get this one. These guys will get this one. Now who are this? Those Torians. Actually, you know what? Nope, the Yor almost got it. <laughs> I'll have to... put some effort into ensuring that more of this... they fall further behind my sphere of influence. Because I don't... really don't want them having a strong foothold, even if they are pretty much on my side. Okay, so I have two warships. I'm dropping them into a fleet here. Ah, see, they got a second planet here, but they're both behind my sphere of influence, so... Uh, they're not very good planets, so I don't really care about them. I just don't want anybody close. It's got to the point of desperation where... No. No, I'm not declaring war on anyone just yet. Avenger missile system. Starbase modules. Leadership recruiting. Where is my... Oh, okay, so it probably already happened. My trade... Um... My trade freighter. Or whatever. You know, you hate me the least. Should I? Yes, I should. This is an asteroid miner, okay. Alright, this is my new planet. Research. Growth. Research. Research. Manufacturing. Population. Where can I put? Here we go. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> research, research, wealth. Ah, eh, why the hell not? It's going to be a while before this plant's useful to me anyway. All the civilizations are putting a lot of effort into colonizing every available planet, meaning they're colonizing planets deep within territory of other civilizations, and that is gonna lead to some conflict. Well, one would expect anyway. I'm not sure how the AI does reacts to anything here. What is this? Oh, no, that will take forever to build. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is this Earth Shipyard? Research plus 30. Or money. I'm going to go with the research because I do love me some research. I'm not even reading the flavor text anymore. <laughs> Hmm, plus 500 to treasury. Nice. Yep, do whatever. Do whatever you do. Avenger missile system. Uh, another civilization. We got the Alcretion. Creason, I don't know. I got way more tech, tech than you do, bro. Way more tech. So give me something. I'll talk to you in one turn. Research candidates. Um, nothing. Nothing really jumps out of me as being good. Everybody wants oceanic worlds. <laughs> and they want a lot of money. Dude, you're... No. No. Reject this. Hmm. Okay. All right. I was I was a little lost for a second. Supply ships are actually useful for building out new planets. You build a supply ship and you send it to a planet that's just starting out and it helps them with their manufacturing. Let me build one just to uh, get an eye, get it going, you know? Colony ship, treasury. Experience points. Uh, let's get that colony ship. Just in case there's a planet out there somewhere that I can colonize. Uh, Alright. Not exactly what I would have wanted, but, you know. Let's, uh... Let's not get too, uh, whatever. Oh, there's my colony ship. Find a planet. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, I get more stuff. Or stuff. Um, 80% chance that it's going to succeed. And I got it. Environmental something upgrade. Oh, pirates. About to see a fight. <laughs> Maybe not. It's going to get away. Uh, is this my new... Pl no, this is not. Well, yeah, it is my new planet. Wait a sec. Didn't I have something getting built here? It's 
Constructor, Supply Ship, Colony Ship. What, oh, it's a freighter. Get down here and make some new friends. Oh, okay. Ship range plus... Sh plus three ship range to all ships? Sweet. Oh, that was the anomaly hunt. Finally a success. Alright, I'm losing 0 .07 credits per turn. So, hopefully my new trade ships will um, help with that. Oh, yeah. They're well within my bubble now. 4% in Rebellion and 6% in Rebellion. So it's taken a while. But they will flip. Oh, my God. The friggin... Uh, the Yor have declared war on me. All right. So... Time to quit screwing around and start doing some killing. I had trade with you fuckers trade and you're like no nah, no nah, we want you dead so it's like yeah okay fine fine you want me dead now i'm gonna make you dead or at least i'm gonna give it a shot i don't really have a good military <laughs> um i don't want this but let's do open borders. And you give me exploration treaty. Seriously, dude? You'll actually pay me for this. Hmm. I don't know what kind of military they actually have. I don't want to jump into the civilization screen. If this this war goes very against me, then fine. I'm not actually looking to finish this game. So the sooner it ends, perhaps the better. Who the hell are these? Oh, enemy, uh, what do you call them? Probe. Oh, what did I build this for? Um, occult, blah. Man, gain two free citizens. Eighty-two percent chance. Let's just do this. Scrap it. Oh, there's a colony ship. Colonize something. Once I get a warship, I'm gonna send it up here and fuck this planet up. Once this, um, what I mean by that is once this one battle axe is finished being built. Tells this. Oh, it's a starbase. I will lose my ship if I attack that starbase. I'll damage them. No casualties. Get down here and fuck these planets up. All three of my warships. <laughs> All three of them. 
What do we have here? Oh, it's an economic relic. They have a star base on that? Oh, and they have a shipyard here. Is it worth it taking... Oh, no. I will not lose any... I will not take them out at all. Alright, okay, so the way that... The way that planetary invasions seem to work, at least they did in earlier versions of this game, is a little bit weird, in my opinion, anyway. Because it doesn't have... It do, it's not... Um, In the earlier ones, you always had to have some kind of transport ship to invade a planet. And in this game, that seems to remain true in the sense of core worlds. You need to have transports for invading core worlds. But the non-core worlds, the satellite client worlds, you seem to be able to do it with just regular old-fashioned warships. So once these these ships destroyed the ship that was defending this planet, and now in the next turn, I'm not going to war with another civilization. Now I'm going to have them sieging this planet, and I don't know how many turns it's going to take, but if they're not able to send anything over to defend it, this planet will be mine. Just goes to show, oh, see, they're doing the same to me. See, they're doing the same to me. They have a ship up here that's sieging this one. It's not a powerful ship, although it is more powerful than anything I have immediately at hand, which is nothing. <laughs> See, they... All right, so I got their planet, and they probably got mine, or they will soon enough. Now I'm going to take this one. They got my planet, yes. Look at this, that, this weird uh, bulge that they have into my territory because they took my planet. Little bastards. How did I not see that coming? Alright, two turns I'll have another ship that I can... ...send in. What is my approval rating on this planet? Alright. No casualties, so... I'll get in there. I'll destroy their little ship that's defending this planet. Took a little damage, but it's fine. And in the next turn, we'll siege that planet. Now, they don't look like they've left the orbit of this one yet. So... Russian Planetary Adaption Weekend, I... No, I don't want this deal. This deal's not very good. Let's do a non-aggression pact, and... You sure you need more? Oh, I'm losing a lot of money per turn. Hmm. Not everybody loves me. <laughs> I 
All right, so I will not have a chance of a tad defending or defeating the defenders around this planet. Fortunately, they are staying put. So you are going on sentry mode. Until I can get a better fleet. Oh, look at this. I'm sieging. Do I have them? Ah, fuck you. Dredgen are at war with me now. Because I didn't know how to... I did not know how to avoid this. I'm going to set up a fleet down here to see if it's going to be powerful enough to do anything about them. I need money. I need to... I need to start working towards a better financial situation, so... Did I get that planet? Well, I will soon. Missile countermeasures. Yep, I got it. Oh, I'm still on the same turn. Uh. No. Oh, what are they talking about? No, oh, I'm pirates and smugglers. Is this planet defended still? No, oh, I have an ideology point to spend. Do I have one more? No, I don't have any more. But that might have gone... That went a good ways to alleviating my financial difficulties. Alright, so it's not giving me a battle prediction. So I don't know if I should attack that planet or not. I, I'm not strong enough to defeat that one. Alright, I'm going to continue my assault. I'm not seeing... I don't know how big of a civilization they actually have, but it's possible that this is their only core world. So, if I can knock out all of their satellite planets, then maybe I can reduce their research and manufacturing and all that kind of stuff to the point where they simply are not effective enough to war with me. Ah, you fuckers. Alright, I'm not going to be able to get there in time to stop that, but I will be able to retake the planet. It's sort of a bad attack on their part. They're not able to really hold that position. They want all sorts of shit. Although, 
I guess space lasers is a nice thing to have. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, okay. So this is defended. Did I lose? I lost. What the freaking hell? It estimated no casualties on my side. No casualties. No. Nope. What'd you think you were doing, fool? Should I, like, inform you as to what the hell no casualties means? <laughs> It means no casualties. No casualties. All right, that's getting pretty close to completion. Now, hopefully the dredgen don't move in on my territory cuz I doubt I'm even strong enough to defeat the Yor, much less the Torians or the Dredgen at the same time. hell's this? I need money, so I'm just going to accept that. I have four, three or four shipyards, but building ships takes forever. Like, that is always a problem in the earlier versions of this game, but it seems to be a little bit uh, of a bigger deal in this one. You don't want to go with a weak military for too long. I was sort of counting on my ability to build up my military towards the... Um, if I ever got into a bad situation fairly quickly. This is some bullshit. I mean, this planet should have been mine. Look at that garbage plant thing that they had defending their planet. Ah, okay, my armed shuttle. All right, you got a bigger fleet. Perhaps not enough to take them now yet. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Do an armed shuttle instead. Oh, this is the one up north. Now, this is undefended. So this crappy-ass warship should be able to take that planet without any difficulty. I don't want frozen world mastery, but I will see planetary invasion, and I'll trade you some of this other shit. <laughs> what else do you have? Um... All right, how about that? <laughs> Just an exploration treaty. It's a good place to put a starbase. 
If I could you if I could spare the resources to build one. Mayor Eggs find your many orifices. Who the hell are these guys? Ugly little fuckers, aren't they? This won't work for me. Open borders. You like open borders? How about some of this garbage? Oh my god, you suck. Um... Not really doing any research in this planet, am I? What was that? Oh, okay, so I'm sieging this planet. It'll be mine soon. Where do you think you're going? Wherever the hell you want, apparently. Well, this thing is only capable of moving nine moves. My fleet is capable of moving nine moves as well. Fantastic. That's not good odds. <laughs> They're going to get away, is what I'm saying. I should have tried intercepting them rather than heading straight for them. Though now... Still not capable of taking them out. Let's see, they're getting away. I could chase... Yeah, see, like, my ships are giving chase, but they're never going to catch it. Sure, whatever. I don't have the money, but... I'll give it to you. Powerful warship scattered across the brief fields. Maybe there's some... Retribution mission. Hmm. What is that? Destroyed warship. Um. Alright, so I need to find... Probably... Scanning... Um, artifacts. Idiot flew into this cloud. I don't have enough money, dude. How many moves do we have left here? Gonna take forever to assemble that. All right, so they weren't capable of moving that far because they were um, flying through this nebula. So that's gonna give me the opportunity to catch them. And I got him. Now I did take some damage. So let's... But I did take out their ship. There we go. Uh, 
Ah, here's another one. Endless zeros. <laughs> Oh, but they're robots, so computer binary stuff. All right, I'm pulling in a budget profit, though. I mean, that's good. I can build. I don't. I, can't. I would like to be able to build medium or larger sized ships, but I can't just get the technology I need. Yeah, you can bombard things from distance here. Two percent chance of success. Good work, engineers. And a next turn. Now they're going to bombard this planet. They're not going to be able to keep it. Because my fleet is three turns away from attacking them. Even if they do take the planet, they won't keep it. And that looks like a uh, like a flagship. So its loss is actually going to be hurtful, going to hurt them. I'm getting a second fleet built up down here. Hopefully I can retake that planet soon. Oh, yep, they got mine. <sighs> Freaking needy. Got him. I did lose a ship, though. kind of stupid to take a planet that you're not capable of keeping. I mean, it will force them to uh, sort of reposition themselves to retake it. But it's going to cost you resources like a flagship. You shouldn't have tried taking it. Oh, here's another uh, ship. Not good enough to do anything about them, though. Wish I could give a better perspective on how much damage missile bombardment does to enemies that are stationed around a planet. Uh, see, look, they're sending another couple of ships up. Here's a, uh... Hey, glad these people like me for some reason. Alright, get them. Oh, who, are, who am I dealing with here? Oh, okay. I was thinking that was a, um, a your... Survey anomalies, sure, whatever, I'm going to be doing that anyway. Oh. 
Who are you? <laughs> ah, friggin' dredgen. What a dredgen coming up from the south for. Alright, so I guess... I guess, instead of attacking them, you're killing these guys. But that's a medium-sized ship, and I can't even... I can't even uh, build medium-sized ships yet. Alright, I retook that planet. But a love of God, let me research the things that I need to research. If Mars can hold out for one more turn, I will, uh, I'll be able to destroy that ship. Although, Furin 2 is now inside of my zone of influence, so eventually they could rebel. I'd rather take it sooner rather than later. Like, this one is in 23% rebellion, this one is in 21% rebellion, and they've been inside my zone of influence for quite a while. So it's not a quick way of doing anything. Although, they've never taken these planets back. That's a... That's a hell of a thing. What the hell is this? Oh, uh, Starbase Instructor. Mars is under siege! Well, do something about it. Got him. Oh, I can see what kind of damage I'm doing. A little bit. <laughs> Commander's Resolve. Maybe I can turn this into a... Like, install a commander. Who will be able to... Um... I need somebody with good resolve. You have good resolve. And you're not that expensive. So... Yeah, do that. Now, where is that ship? <laughs> Alright, so that's a... That's a flagship. It's got a commander on it. Ow! Progress made on retribution mission. Does that mean I can build it? Not yet, it looks like. I need to continue. I need to find one more part, and then I can build it. You bastards. Well, fortunately I have the technology to fuck this shit up with an equivalent. So they ain't, may, they ain't survive in this battle. I actually have defensive technologies. They do not. Total loss, total loss. Both will. Both will lose this battle. <laughs> Estimated outcome anyway. I can't do more damage than that. That's irritating. What is my logistical? 6 of 13. 
6 of 13. Okay, maybe I can just combine this into one massive fleet and then overwhelm them. Battle axe, I need something missily. You know what? I might actually have gained a technological edge if they're not going to be able to implement any defensive countermeasures. Then perhaps I can just sort of take them out. See, look at this. It's a... Thank you. <laughs> so, we, I have a defender, which is a small ship with 24 hit points. They have a, whatever the hell that is, a small ship with 24 hit points. We both use four missile attack points, but I have four missile defense points. So, chances are, I'm just going to walk right over. And look at that. I took some damage, but came out on top. This ship will repair. I should actually send it down here to destroy this. I got no moves left, though. I might actually be turning the tide on them. I wasn't expecting this. I was kind of expecting to lose. But they haven't really been able to capitalize on the advantage that they may have had earlier. And they don't seem to have the defensive technologies that I spent some time. Fuck you, you... <sighs> Declared war and whoever the hell those are. It's bug people. That's constructor. That's not going to be able to do any defend any damage on my ship. So it's just free experience points. All right. So how many logistics points is this one? So I have. One large fleet. And they have a flagship in there. Just. No casualties, though. Seriously, no casualties? They will take no casualties? I definitely have the advantage. What the hell was that? Yeah, okay. Just don't try to kill me. Hmm. What is this? Oh, they're my, uh... They're my allies, so... Let's return to the offense. And start wiping out their secondary planets. I'll keep these ships here and whatever new ones get built up to defend. Because a problem that I was running into in the first uh, video I had made, first couple of videos I made, was I had a hard time actually invading enemy planets. What would happen is they would build up such a defense that I wasn't able to build up a large enough fleet to harm them. So, well, if I couldn't build a big enough fleet and I couldn't build larger ships, their planets became impregnable. So I would attack and attack and attack and I'd just lose my ships with no idea of how much damage I was doing to them. And, well, it, it got frustrating and I gave up. <laughs> This defender. Oh, all right.
They're not in rebellion, which is surprising, considering that they're a little ways off their own border. There's some benefit to launching missiles, but I don't do a lot of damage. It does, I guess, potentially just keep them in port, though, because they want to repair. What is this? Uh, research. Good for research. Yeah, why the hell not? 19 turns, though. That's so many. That's so many turns. And I'm starting to rebuild the fleet to defend here. Hopefully, anyway. And I guess I could check in the diplomacy screen. I could check, but I think... I'm not gonna, <laughs> just because. I think Iconia is their only... their only core world. So I really can cripple them by taking out all of their secondary planets. Oh, look at you. That's a survey ship. It's probably not going to attack. What do we do with this? <laughs> Hey, it's um the Onyx. What do you have? Open borders. You like open borders? I like open borders. Everybody likes open borders. I guess there's really nothing here that you really want, is there? Oh. Okay. We need more. What else is there? Fine then. Missile defense. Missile countermeasures. Frozen world. Alright. Do you got any money you can give me for that? Orbital ship assembly. All size medium hulls. Finally. I couldn't even research it. I had to just friggin' trade for it. That's pathetic. I've become the friggin' Packlids. Um. Alright. New design. Medium sized hull. Medium sized hull. I have not really been able to explore this feature of this game yet because I have yet, this is the first time I've actually unlocked a medium sized hull. Let's put some uh, wingdings on it. Oh, come on. Why didn't you put that on both sides? Eh. It's not... Is there a... Uh... There we go. Sweet. <laughs> Looks like crap, but, you know... In the earlier games, the modding community made a lot of really cool stuff to, uh, 
I know this is from mining ships, but let me... Scale. Scale. Scale's not operating. It's functioning like an offset, not a scale. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. You you spend some good time with this. You can create a really awesome looking ship. But I'm not going to do that now. Alright, that's good enough. Let's equip it though. Now, I'm not sure what stuff is really all that useful. Hmm. Because they implemented in um, Galactic Civilizations 3 thrusters, which... Chance to escape from battle. Okay, thrusters in Galactic Civilizations 3 worked on the battle menu with a battle screen. Ships with faster thrusters can get into combat faster. I tended to avoid using them preferring to keep all my ships clustered together in the back and let the enemies come to them. Here, it gives them a chance to escape from battle. That's funny. Oops, they're stellar. How much Promethean do I have? Uh, I have 33, so I... Yeah, okay. I'm going to utilize this as an engine. Weapons. Okay. This is defenses. The enemy likes using... Um, likes using missile weapons. So I'm going to equip this with some point defense. They're not... Hmm. How much... Uh... How much weight do I have remaining? Can't really tell. Probe, unlimited range. Alright. Okay. Immune to range. Sure. Fantastic. Weapons range of the ship. So... Space sensor. I can't tell how much weight I've used. Where do I... I don't know how much weight... Oh shit, look at that. That's, that's gonna botch the animation. Look at that. Ah. Uh. Damn it. I didn't realize that these things were... I don't know how much weight I've used. I don't see where I can... But I'm guessing I'm at maximum weight. Yeah, I must be. Eh, let's call it, um, New York. So let's build, uh, 37. Can that be built at another shipyard faster? 22, yes. If I can actually get that damn shit built, that might just uh, really kick the ass of the enemy now. Uh, it's one of these 
things. I gotta build something on one of my planets in order to... In order to um, appease them, and then that does some good stuff for me, and then... Oh, yeah, okay. Then I get some reward. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> hey, slug people. Hi. Large hull assembly. Boom. What do I have that you want? Well, let's start with... Uh, Who are these navigators? Hmm. Look at all this crap I'm giving you. Just for large hull assembly. I can't even build any large hull ships because I don't have manufacturing capacity. I'm trying to build a medium hull ship and it's going to take me forever. That'll increase uh, production, right? Yeah. Civilization, FTL. What do you got? No. Actually, that made it worse. Look at that. Fine, fine, screw you. Alright, it's time to start screwing you up, bro. Haha! <laughs> How do you like that shit? Who are you? I don't like you. Get out of here. Oh, you're Torian. Torians are not my enemies. Although this Dredgen is. Hopefully I can just chip away at its health by just bombarding it with missiles over and over again. See, it's 27. Cannot invade. What are we looking at? Oh! That's a core world. Shit. Alright, so I can't invade that without a troop transport. But this one... Maybe I can. We'll see. Sorry. I mean, I'm at war with your neighbor. That's because I have my... Uh, this is their territory, not the yours. The your are actually in really bad shape. I wasn't catching on to that. But the your are in really bad shape. Probably a combination of the war that they're waging with me. And they might be at war with uh, these other guys. These... Where's my uh, diplomacy? I really don't want to be at war with you, so I'm going to... Oh, okay.
take the money, even though it may not be the best option. If I can knock the war you're out of the war, then perhaps I can... I don't have enough drones. Then perhaps I can just turn my attention towards the dredgen. This is repetitive. It'd be nice if I could set this up to just happen. Barely doing any damage to that ship. Oh, look at that. How many turns? 73. Destroyer cruiser, battle cruiser, M2. Corvette. There's the New York. this hmm. I mean I'm trying to build a New York class battleship or battle cruiser but it's not even the best technology that I can muster Eighteen turns until completion. I don't have any defensive structures on this. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even notice I was building it poorly. Okay. I got some money at the moment. There haven't really been any... Uh, the battle screen isn't implemented yet, and that's a bit of a disappointment. Alright, so this is my territory now. My territory! Now I'm going to take this planet too. I guess not. Not this turn anyway. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. That's so useful. I mean, tell me again. Such an interesting story. Alright, I'm chipping its health away, finally. Chumps. Didn't stand a chance. Don't let anyone fool you. Into thinking otherwise. Can I build a, uh. Did I get planetary invasion technology? I guess not. I don't see a, uh. I don't see that on the build options. Which means I can't take the core worlds. I don't want a peace treaty with them until this damn uh, planet's retaken. Where am I? Which planet am I looking at here? Oh, this one? Okay. I need the boost manufacturing. Although it's pretty cure clear now at this point that the Yor are no threat. I've got him.
Like this planet will soon be mine. It's not even in their own territory. That's taking forever. What? You little fucker. Was that Mars under attack? Get up there and fuck him up. It's a desperation move if I've ever seen one. must have known they wouldn't have a chance of that mattering. Of course, it is an AI, and AI is pretty dumb. Um, open borders. I do want open borders. I just don't want to give you all of this shit for it. But do they open borders? What's wrong with you? Eh, fuck you. What's Mars ever done that deserved this happening over and over again? It also means my missile assault on this ship is having to slack off because I don't have two ships in place doing it. Twelve turns till the New York is finished. Alright, all these planets are mine, and this is my territory. So you now have a planet in my land, you little fuckers. Approval. Rebellion. Not in rebellion. Moderate losses. I will have sustained moderate losses for destroying that. It's going to take forever for that ship to get constructed, though, so I don't see a need to destroy it. This one will get done quicker, though, so I should really do something about that. I lost Mars. And they're not asking for much. There's no point in doing this missile launching. I can't do enough damage without a second ship in place. Oh, and okay. Oh, thank you. Somebody gave me some ships to fight the dredgen. Is it me, or have the Yor gone and just dropped me my entire civilization inside of their own bubble of influence? How the hell did that happen? That's got to be a bug. Because that was definitely not true a minute ago. They don't have any, uh... 
They don't have anything to do that with. They have nothing. Really, they have nothing. Seriously, how'd they get that much influence? Where's my new ship? Yeah, don't get yourself destroyed by passing through their space. Oh, it's way out here. It's not a very good ship either. Actually, it's a really bad ship. But I don't know. Okay, I guess. Oh, look, the, the your half ships have planets over in this direction, too. There's definitely a bug happening here, though, because they shouldn't have all of this influence. What is this? Oh, it's a colony ship. Come on, take Mars. <laughs> Settle in there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, my thing got built. Awesome. And I have a culture point. So, let's send it, end it on something. Three constructors. Um, three random civilization, civ citizens. Start base range. 60 research. Three scientists. Intimidation. Minus. I already saw that. Oh, crap. I don't know. Do the constructor one. Oh, they got a star base here. I'll have to destroy that. One more constructor. What the hell did the Yor do to get that much influence? I mean, that is absurd. They have one planet here. It's a poor planet. It's just defended by a ship that I have a hard time doing anything about. And Mars is mine again. How long until New York is finished? 12 turns still? No way. It was 12 turns like 4 turns ago. Moderate casualties and total loss. What about some of these other ones? They do have a lot of space stations. See if I can 
knock him down a little bit in terms of health. <sighs> Fine. Actually, I should have tried trading it to you. <laughs> Oh, so look at this. It's all in my territory now. You know what it must have been? There must have been some kind of, uh, like, artifact or something that they used to dramatically boost their... Dramatically boost their ability to produce influence. Because it's changed now. And suddenly they, they don't have influence. And they're losing... They lost that big bubble of theirs. And now you're... And this is all mine now. In fact, these guys even have a few... 34% in Rebellion. This is taking forever. Was that an Ascension Crystal? Oof. I don't know what to do with this. Get out there and destroy that colony ship, I guess. It's going to cost a lot of money to rush this. This is this for research. Another Ascension Crystal. Economic Relic. I'll build that. Dredgen haven't really pushed into my territory much. I've seen a few ships, but nothing significant. Maybe they're tied up too much in another war. In which case, why did they declare war on me to begin with? Fine, fine. Just don't try to kill me. Alright, so this constructor is in a great, just a fan frickin' tastic position to, uh,. mine all of this shit. Look at this. Four different nodes, three Illyriums, and a, uh, an antimatter. I should really build out more uh, asteroid mining. That sh that would help my shit get built. No, oh. here's. Do we have a battle? I guess this is mine now. What the hell happened? Okay, so I <laughs> attacked that ship, and it's mine.
Don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. There's nothing to colonize. Um. Back to planetary bombardment, I guess. Alright, yeah, I'm, that's damaged. You are at war with my species. <laughs> Can I just sell this ship? Yeah, auto-colonize. Just find something to colonize. I don't know where. I don't care where. Just colonize it. I don't want to have to deal with you... Eventually, this ship is going to be finished building, and I have to destroy it. I definitely don't have the manufacturing capacity to really have a war. Because I'm taking this long to build this uh, medium hold ship. Hmm. You have some, will you pay me for that? Yes. I just want an open borders treaty. So we can stay friends. No, you're at war with me, so... Alright. And that should, and I'm at war with you, too. And it's somehow mine now. Getting there. <laughs> I'm staking my ability to fight this war entirely on the existence of one ship. What is this defend? Oh, this is that defender that the Terran Resistance gave me. A long ass time ago. Shame nothing is. Nothing is, uh undefended. What is this? Economic. Is there anything else? Yeah. Okay. Dortamium mine. Something here. Oh, it was Illyrium. All right. Ah, you bastard. It's my territory, you know. My territory. This one's not being mined. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a colony ship. My plants ain't happy. Oh, did I finally get my, uh... Ugh, tell me the game didn't crash. The game crash? I, I scared me there for a second. Five turns.
This damn ship has been a thorn in my friggin' ass forever. Okay, so that's what the problem is. I'm trying to jump into a planet, and it's not loading. You're two turns away from launching this ship. I can't destroy the shipyard for some reason. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. <sighs> These guys are not happy about me having a military buildup. I don't know what to do about that. Nothing I can really do about that. Saying I'm too close to them. I mean, I will, uh... Don't... Yeah, I don't know what the hell to do about that. Now, perhaps my ships have gotten advanced enough technology that I should look into just wiping that ship out instead of just peppering it with missile attacks. Finally, huh? Huh. <laughs> Did it finish building? It did, but it didn't launch the ship. Meaning I gotta... Oh my god. I hate that crap. Okay, so what they're doing... I, I don't know if there's any, like, intention on the AI or the developers here. But what they've done is essentially do set up a fleet in being. Meaning, it's not a powerful fleet, but its presence is enough of an issue for me that I am unable to ignore it. Because they could jump out and they can attack these two planets. And there's nothing I could do about it. Unless I keep a fleet in position ready to pounce on it if it comes out of port. But it may not come out of port. So it's tying down my resources. And I can't reallocate them somewhere else. Matter of casualties. No casualties, total loss. Oh, just get in there and fuck them up. Want that damn planet back. <laughs> hmm. Finally. <laughs> Alright, conquer that planet. Then I can shift to the west and attack the Dredgen. Just have to keep this damn fleet here, actually, the more powerful fleet, just in position, just in case this fleet gets uppity. Just should have just surrendered to me a long time ago. Four percent in rebellion, you gotta be kidding me. Um, ancient recording something something.
persuasion, and influence. Maybe I'll try making peace with the Iconians. Um, maybe I'll try making peace with Iconians after I win this battle here. So I can pull out. Because I can't take that planet, and I can't take this planet without planetary invasion. This one I can get. And I would really like to not have to be tied up. Oh, New York is finished. Alright, so that thing actually does have some defensive... Defensive setup. I don't know why I didn't think it did. All right, so the New York finally got built. <laughs> 39 turns to build the battleship. But fine. All right, let's do it. This planet will be in my hands again. It'll boost my manufacturing capacity in a bit. Time to start sliding our way towards the dredgen. This planet's not defended, so I'm just going to go up there and take that. There's my new ship. Conquered planet. So, hopefully that means this ship will get built a little bit faster. Little bit faster. You know, destroying this shipyard's not really going to do me any good. It'll stop them from building for a little while, but they'll just rebuild the shipyard. So, perhaps... Why, why didn't this load properly? <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> no, this. I need this. What the hell is this? Flash the trick of physics. The ship is gone, having traveled further and faster. What did I do? Yeah, okay, fine. Subspace... Tr substream... something, something. Ah, it's too big to... It's too big to land in there. Now, if I can get planetary invasion, that would be fantastic, but I don't have that technology. Okay, it's no longer loading properly. Who doesn't hate me? Um, uh, I'm losing... Open borders, dude. Please. Exploration treaty. Dude, yes. 
does this do? Planetary invasion. Offer diplomatic capital. That helped, I guess, right? What did I give you? I gave you a lot of stuff. It's expensive, but I'll take it. I need to build transports. If I don't have transports, I can't conquer. If I can't conquer, then what the hell am I doing out here? Transport, transport, transport. Transport, I don't have transports. What the fuck? We have to design one? Transport module. There we go. And let me just put engines on it. Limit one per ship. Too heavy to mount. All right. So I designed a transport. 12 turns. Let's put that uh, battleship on hold for a bit. Get this transport built quick. Okay. Plus 10 research. Plus 50 research points. I don't know which is better. <laughs> Should I move south and just try to conquer Iconians? But I... See, I'm still in the same situation, though. I can't conquer their big planets because I can't put together a strong enough of a fleet to actually knock them out. Oh, I'm at the end of my turn. That's what's happening. I need to create more food. I'm just not... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a colony ship. Where the hell did that come from? Well, time to put this battle cruiser to work. I win. Did I lose a ship or two, though? I guess I did. Alright, so four logistics points. This is nine of 13. So, I can combine these two fleets into one. What just happened? <laughs> oh, shit. That was a... Uh, that was a colony ship. I conquered that for some reason. 
Eject. Or decommission. I don't actually want this. Hmm. Oh, that's my ship. <laughs> Thinking, what the hell's going on? I've forgotten about this. Oh, my new defender has finally found its way into my territory. Wish they would have given me a better ship, but I guess I'll take it. I'm almost at three hours. I think I'm going to cut this off at three hours. See, I will lose everything and only inflict moderate damage if I try to take this planet. So I'm still in the same situation I was before. Where I'm uh, unable to do significant damage, but I, but they can't really do anything to stop me. I could stand here and just blast them with missiles a lot. Because look at all the ships that they have, though. Look at the size of this fleet that they have. That's why I can't conquer them. How about this one? Oh, there's one ship here. There's one ship here. Alright, so. Eject. Eject. No, this one here. Send the whole damn fleet down south. There's only one ship defending here. What is this? Preferred lending and stellar tourism. Alright. Alright, I guess. I have that, um... What do you call it? Uh, transport getting built. Aren't you done destroying this yet? Yes, I know. I, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, what the hell are you? What do you got? I'll talk to you later. I want to get that open borders treaty going with you. I want to get at least one planetary invasion in. I think it's vital to my emotional well-being. <laughs> Hell is this? Oh, the New York's already here. Should I just yeah, just wreck it now? Took a lot of damage, wow. What did it attack me with? But they already have their stupid ass uh, shipyard already reconstructed. Oh, there's the transport. Oh, 
Oh, Abigail's mine. Ab Ab not Abigail. It's Adjin. Adjin Lib? I don't fucking know. But I got another planet, so that's a big, big plus. Not a core world, of course. Because I don't have any transports. This one I can't take. I can't destroy the fleet around it. This one I already have. Oh, okay. I'll Terrans. Open borders. Flexible bulkheads, improved armor science, extreme miniaturization, miniaturization. I'll just take open borders. Who are the other little things? Those cute little fuckers. Where are they at? Huh. Will you pay me? Yes. Okay, I might actually be able to take this thing out. Just look at the number of ships that they have out here, though. It's insane. There needs to be some kind of a limit that they put into place. Shadow Temple. Rule and influence, huh? It's a good place. <laughs> Come on, get that transport out the door. I guess I need to load up somebody on the... Nobody likes me. <laughs> Grin Syndicate. Next turn. Alright, so this should be pretty safe. Sending this all the way down here. Because they've got nothing to... Uh, Take out this. This has got no defenders. So that's good. If I can get this core world away from them, then I'll try. <laughs> then I'll try uh, the getting peace with them. I mean, it's possible that their civilization could just collapse. They may not be financially secure enough to actually defend themselves against me. Where did my transport go? There it is. Oh, is this not defended? Alright. Little incursions or good incursions. Seventy credits. So. Missile attacks for once are actually helping. I don't know if they're helping here. Most of these ships are really weak.
Gain colony ship. I don't need a colony ship. Oh, yeah, okay. How about this one? <laughs> Total loss, no casualties. What else is there? Yeah, I know. Just a waste of time actually destroying this. Because they'll never get that constructed before I take the world. This is my uh, transport. Come on, transport, do your thing. Yeah, you're s slug dude. I know. <laughs> Everyone else has already informed me of that. What is this, version 7.77? 7 Get him. Get him. Oh, where am I? Ugh, I wish this would load in right. That battleship's taking forever to build. <laughs> Come on, are you gonna conquer that planet or not? Could I take it? Yeah, no, not yet. <laughs> Okay, let me see what I got here. Diplomats. Commanders. What's he got? Green or blue? He's good with blue. So, I really should have done this earlier. <laughs> happening here. Oh, okay. That's my uh, transport. 